Hello James, how are you guys? I hope you guys are good. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. And today I have a very special video. It is not a hair review, but it has something to do with hair because you guys know I literally live for wigs and hair and all the beautiful stuff, man. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, please like, please share if you can. I'd highly appreciate that. So for those who don't know, I am currently in the process of starting out my own hair business, right? And I thought, why not? Why not share a little bit? Maybe someone is interested and like to know maybe how I got into it and what I'm doing. But today's video is wholly focused on the wig making um, tools, what you need to get if you're also a young entrepreneur who wants to start out, you know, and may not necessarily have everything or they might not remember what to buy or what they should have, all right? So this is for you. Are you starting out? and you don't have all the funding that you need to start like a big booing business but this is where it all begins you know for us young entrepreneurs so without further ado let's get into the first item i did however make a couple of notes i hope you guys don't mind so for the first item uh before we get into the first item personally i want to make uh, custom wigs for my clients and I want them to be machine made right I have nothing against um, hand um, hand sewn wigs because we come from those but for me right now I want my business to offer something very nice something that's um, like ahead of the innovation so uh, machine made wigs look aesthetically beautiful for me I love them okay you guys know when I do those uh, reviews I always tell you I love machine made wigs they just they look they look gorgeous man and I think they for me they fit so much better me personally and i feel like you can you can put in clips a lot of people don't like hair clips you can put in clips you can put in an adjustable hairband and it doesn't look doesn't look untidy you know it looks it looks so professional okay that's why i love machine made stuff it looks professional i don't want my stuff looking cheap i don't want my offering looking cheap all right and like i said there's nothing wrong with hand so wigs. some people actually prefer that they don't care they literally prefer a hand so wig so for the first item, I had to go out and buy a sewing machine. So I didn't get the sewing machine that I wanted. Why? Because I decided in April that, listen, this is what I'm going to be starting and I need to get these things right now. I initially wanted a Senga Heavy Duty, right? An industrial sewing machine, but my, my budget didn't allow. And that is okay. That is okay. If your budget does not allow you, just um, align it and, and you find something that still works just as good. All right. I'm not going to kill myself. And as we are running the business, we're starting up the business, it's in its preliminary test. As we get better, we will get that sew wig machine. All I know, guys, that there's two different. You get a domestic and an industrial sewing machine. And I got a domestic. We're starting off and it's going to be more a, a learning curve than anything else. And so, yeah, don't kill yourself. If you can't afford it right now, get what you can afford. So I went along to game not game why do i keep calling macro game it's because i went to game to go <laughs> check out sewing machines so i went to macro guys and i bought myself a beautiful sewing machine let me just pick it up it is quite heavy i got myself this mp cell model um 889 i don't know if it's called model 889 or if it's model 889 and it's called the expression sewing machine all right so i got this towards of, uh towards the end of last month and i got it for 2000 rand the initial price is 2200 so it was marked down by 200 rand right so i'm gonna go ahead and try to open this and then i'll be back again so i've taken it out of the box and this is what it looks like as you guys can see it's literally brand 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 new let me just take off the silicone i hope i don't mess it up okay yeah there's a silicone at the bottom so there's silicone at the bottom too Sorry about that. There we go. I'm just trying to be careful because I'm gonna have to put this right back. There's a piece 
on the side over here. I wonder what this is. Oops. Okay. So there's a part of the machine and it comes with um, some kind of elements. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll be using this stuff for the machine. Okay, and then I see there a presser foot and there's a key over there. And then um, there's an organ, an organ needle. All right. There's quite a lot of important things in there. All right. Look at the sun. Look at the sun getting jealous. Okay, look at the sun getting jealous. Let me just position my camera properly. All right, so I just removed these elements. Okay, I just had to reposition my camera. So like there's a lot of important things in there and this I think is a part of my machine. Okay. Let's remove the remainder. Oh, so there is a plug there. Okay. okay, this is the foot and there's like a plug that goes with the actual machine. So here is the beautiful um, Expression Model 889, right? This is beautiful. So this machine has 18 stitches and it's quite heavy. Another reason why I bought this is it's handheld, all right? Quite a heavy machine, okay? And I'm not gonna go into the specs right now because I'm not really good with sewing machines. I am going for sewing lessons, but it's beautiful. It comes with the manual right that i have to study so i understand my machine sewing machines are different so don't treat them like they're the same yes they have the basic functions but you need to understand your machine so that you can produce the highest quality of work that you can right and i know somehow somewhere i have to oil this machine and also it came with a protective bag for the sewing machine so i absolutely love 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 um love this it's like a plastic bag so but it's like more protective than anything so i think it's to cover the sewing machine and to make sure it doesn't get damaged right so it's 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 beautiful it even comes with like a cloth over here i think it's for me to let me hold it here to just practice my stitches absolutely absolutely amazing all right it looks like it's really really good good quality it definitely is heavy i do not one to lie but i'm happy that i bought this i'm happy i bought the sewing machine and i cannot wait to start with my classes to make sure that my my wigs you know i'm producing good things some things you mustn't just always wing guys just watch youtube if that's the only thing that you have at that moment you can't afford classes then do that but sometimes make sure you're investing into your business and that you're getting the best out of it so i'm just gonna put this down right this is my new baby right i'll pack that back when i have completed my video right what i also got from game is this mp cell sewing um kit right this is amazing this was 170 rand it's a beautiful sewing bag right for you to keep everything in there just open it over there so it comes here oh snap i might have bought things i'm not gonna know all the terminology because i'm not someone who um tailor makes clothes or a designer or a seamstress but it comes with nearly everything that you need right look at this and i love buying matching um things there we go it's nice and clear you can see all the needles the scissors um the pen that i need it also has like a magnifying glass over there right and it has all the different color cottons measuring tape which is what you really need it has here um i don't know what you call this it's got buttons and something to literally like remove stitches it has um i don't know what you call this thing is but you definitely need this if you're going to be using a sewing machine right 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 and it's nice to buy something that comes with everything because when you're trying to guess okay what do i need now it might result in you not buying everything that you need okay moving on to the second item 
that or second tool that I needed. I needed a block canvas. Let me give you some detail into the block canvas. So there is a core canvas and there's a block canvas. That's how I differentiate them. There's the nice brown one that's got a proper curve, right? And it's not like an, an elongated um, uh, mannequin head, which I don't have on hand. And that's usually like 700 Rand. And then this what I bought and it came yesterday, a block canvas for you guys to see. So this is a number 22, size 22. Let me just take it out of its plastic, All right? Um, let me take it out of its plastic. So here we have a, a block canvas. This is not a core canvas, right? Your core canvases that normally have the brown base and they have like a, a head shape that almost mimics like human heads with it's elongated at the back, right? So it's really important to write the um, to buy the right um, uh, cork uh, canvas. Let me just say the mannequin here because when you are taking measurements, you don't want to be making a wig that's not the right size. Okay, don't make that mistake. All right, I just bought this just to show you guys because I don't have my cork canvas on hand, but you definitely need this, and you also need. Um, the table clamp right unless you have a mannequin stand which I do but it's gonna be very hard for you because it moves quite a bit so a table clamp works the best all right let me just throw that back in there and size 22 is not too big right you need to have all the sizes it runs from size 21 up until 24 right 24 23 may be big you don't want to make your wigs and let them stretch i would use this block canvas for styling hair modeling hair taking pictures but not necessarily making the wig some people are able to make their wigs on this uh, block canvas and they come out well i feel like it's people who are working with hair on a daily basis but when you're starting out try to do your best to bring yourself like the best tools what you also need when you're making wigs would be these wig T-pins. Let me just move back. Okay. These are important for clipping onto your uh, block canvas or cord canvas and just making sure that your, um, your, your lace front, your closure is sitting right before some, some people will actually sew that, um, hand sew that in instead of machine so it all depends on what you want what else are you going to need you spoke about a table clamp you're going to need a tailor's measuring tape which i showed you in my set i bought that i also bought a second one an extra one okay i bought this from town though all right it was like five rand i also bought the following let me just grab everything so i am have to reach for every little 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 thing So another one of the things that I bought, I bought a bobbin because I didn't know if my machine, my machine would have a bobbin. I'm only opening it right now. As I said, it's brand brand new. I bought these metal bobbins and my mom was like, why don't you buy two? So I'm going to go back and just buy maybe like a set of four so that I always have enough for your sewing machine. But if you check here, it's already included and has like a presser foot over there. You might want an open um, toe presser foot so that you can see everything but everything is yeah there's two bobbins but these are our plastic bobbins so i'll read the manual and find out what's the best if i'm allowed to actually use this don't just use anything on your machine like i said you need to understand your machine i also bought myself these finger needles right what i do know you need to have like um almost jean denim needle to make your wigs it just need to be strong enough because your needle can snap or break okay depending on um the type of um hair you're using and how the lace is gathered there at the top what else do you need like i said zinger a zigzag presser foot or you have what's the other style one i've forgotten but that presser foot is the type of foot you just attach this there by your machine so that when you place it down on your material or on your on your on your on your weak seams that you know it flattens everything and just sews in your stitch what else do you need? You need, I bought this polyester um, sewing thread. Apparently this is really, really good. Both the polyester, um, the label for this one is under over here. I got this one for 14 grand. This was 13 grand. Let me move back so you guys can see. There we go. 
in town you definitely need this because you have to um wind it up on your bobbin another mistake i made i just <laughs> bought only black i didn't buy other colors and my mom's like you're gonna need other colors i was like oh i'm gonna go back and buy them i do have old cotton but i'm not sure if this is polyester but i'll use it with my practicing and making sure that i'm on in order i also bought this i think what's this called snipper clippers like when you are sewing obviously when you're using cotton it's really thin so this is nice and precise this is nice and precise okay i also bought this from town for cutting those seams or fixing things um you definitely need this if you're making wigs i don't know what you call these things but this is literally just to fix i bought this though this i've always had i think it's like a crocheting kind of needle or whatnot this i've always had um but you're gonna need these things i don't know what you call these things you're also gonna need a c-shaped needle if you're gonna hand sew the the, um, the closure down so i've always had this i didn't have to buy this stuff right and then i forgot to tell you did i tell you this i think was 10 rand um the wig t pins were 40 rand measuring tape was five rand this was like seven rand i don't know what you call this and then i've also always had these pins because i used to sew at school um when before we had to select our subject so these i've always had but i will buy other pins with um like the plastic heads so i can actually man manage them these just literally sometimes disappear into the material so i don't want to be like finding needles and stuff and you're also going to need a good pair of scissors so the, these scissors i just always had in my makeup bag because i have two sets of scissors they were new and then they just i just threw them in there i will however be buying like professional scissors but for now this will do all right yeah and you're also going to need yourself a good pair of hair so this is one of my old my old offerings right it's new when i say old i've just had it for a couple of years now right it's 12 inches um peruvian um let's just say raw a virgin hair sorry okay and obviously like a closure okay when you are making your wig so that is the list of things that you'll need starting off right and you also need a good lesson on how to work your machine and how to understand the type of machine that you're using i don't know if i'll be recording when i am actually going to my classes but i will definitely try to uh drop maybe some schools affordable schools different schools that you guys can go to because i will be taking a couple of lessons i want to be making professional wigs guys i want to be making professional wigs so that is it for today i hope you are happy with the video i brought to you guys like i said there's a lot to discuss about this journey but these are literally like the pure basics and the most affordable things that you can buy for your uh wig making essential or tools when you are starting a business i hope you guys will be joining us again in our next video